Buffy, you're in grave danger. What it do, Ski? It's your boy, Farewell, and today we're checking out Buffy the Vampire Slayer. This one is season four, episode number three. Buffy is settling into college, you know, she had her zoomed in face bouts with, uh, with Kathy, obviously, and uh, unfortunately she was sent to the Shadow Realm by her father, Willow. And Buffy are now moving in together, which should be fun to see them just go through this new stage. And, uh, yeah. So with that being said, let's just keep on rolling with season four so far. See what type of groove we're going to be getting into. Uh, same thing with Angel. They're just sort of, I, I, I said this before, they're both just sort of finding their way now. New direction that both the shows are sort of, are going into. And both of these characters, new characters, um, that are being introduced. As always, if you enjoyed this video, I'm going to need you guys to stake the like button just right through it. And the subscribe if you haven't already. Yates. Oh, back in the bronze. Xander alone. Oz tearing it up. Parker's here. She's looking. You know, when you spend all week with a boy, you are allowed to look at him directly. Well, he's looking at Parker, who it turns out has a reflection, so big plus there. That's very Buffy's true. Head. Hi. Hi. Uh, I just want to let you know I'm heading out. Bye. See you guys. All right. This is the new angle. Harmony, hey. You haven't changed a bit. No, you neither. Oh. Maybe a little. I was gonna say, okay, look, I thought she died. I, I'm, in my head, I was trying to cross-reference. I'm like, Larry, dead. You know, uh, Snyder, dead. And I'm like, I could have sworn Harmony. I just rewatched the clip of the graduation sequence, and I'm like, I swear she just got bit. So I was confused, unless I was, I was thinking, like, did I fuck up here? Um, or they're just gonna reveal that she's like a very casual vampire. Oh. Okay, that's what, so that's what we were going with. I'm like, unless this is like a dream sequence fake out, like not really, not really harmony. I don't know. I don't know. But Buffy family, how's it going? Cheers. I have a boyfriend too, and he's going to be mad that you were mean to me. What do you like to do? Mostly I ah, hang out. Her boyfriend you... Spike confirmed. Oh. <laughs> Welcome back, brother. What's what? You have a scar. Right. My father died last year. Oof. Parker, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bring up that stuff. Oh, bad, bad Buffy. I mean, don't you just hate guys who are all I'm dark and brooding, so give me love. Yeah, I don't think actually, I've ever met that type. It's actually kind of her thing. It made me think about living for now. And sometimes. Oh, I hear that guitar. But I don't, I don't put stuff off anymore, like you were saying. When you go to sleep tonight, what are you going to regret not doing today? Okay, I'm I see you. I'm going to regret. Do you want to go to the yes. party? No, 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 no. This is too wholesome. This isn't gonna last. Oh, welcome. You should lock your door. Believe me, I am kicking myself. I need to talk to Xander. One character, I, I like always. Every time she pops up, I'm like, wait, you're still here? <laughs> your mother said, "Where's our relationship going?" Our what? Our who? I. <laughs> uh, we have a relationship. We went to the prom. Surely that means yeah. that we're bound for life. On our one and only date. Can't stop thinking about you. Slow down. In fact, come to a screeching halt. These things kind of have to develop on their own. It just does happens. Oh boy. Hey. Hi. Hi. Uh, remember Harmony? She's back from her summer vacation. Yeah, we came to warn you about the angry puppy. Pick you up tomorrow night for the party. I can't wait. Harmony's a vampire. My boyfriend's gonna beat you up. My boyfriend must be like the most tolerant guy in the world. It has to be. What has he been up to this entire time? Yeah. <laughs> he was kind of nutty right before he left, though. No, maybe it's he's changed. Crypt, right? Nobody knows I'm here. Now, I'm not killing the Slayer's best friend, as that would tend to announce my presence. Hmm? Go eat something. I've got work to do. This one tastes funny. Take me out to eat. He's perfectly fresh. Oh, boy. Tonight, I'll take you somewhere nice. Confirmed. Harmony. Ooh. I was fucking with the energy there. Uh, confirmed. Harmony is Drusilla Light. What the fuck? Puppy, hi. Dude, that was the most What's casual happen? thing. <laughs> Looks like your friend started the party a little early, huh? It's a funny story, really. And he's off. What's the matter, Spike? Yeah, but as soon as we have the gem of Amara, you're gonna be so <sighs> Not a great relationship, it looks like. Though she doesn't have many people, all right, so. Hi again. Your mother sent me around from the front of the house. It is customary to call before you show up. Not that. Yeah, Spike with Harmony. 
If you can believe it. It's not Did real. he take one of the library lamps? Like, there was a great deal of vampiric interest in locating the gem during oh, the 10th century. Well, Spike seems to think it exists, and he's looking in Sunnydale. Is Antonio Banderas a vampire? No. <laughs> oh. Hey, I don't have a pulse. Cool. Can we eat a doctor so I can get a stethoscope and hear my heart not beating? What does it take to get you to shut the hell up? Bruh. We've got an extra set of chains. At which point the matter is brought to <laughs> The crux of this plan is... Sexual intercourse. I've said it like a dozen times. Uh-huh. I'm picking face-to-face -face for the event itself. Ah. <laughs> right. What you're talking about, but it's about expressing something and accepting consequences. Oh, I have condoms. Please remove your clothing now. <laughs> Please remove your clothing now. <laughs> and the amazing thing, still more romantic than Faith. I was, yeah, I was gonna say, I mean, you don't you need no Faith. All right, Anya and Z I guess Anya and Xander have been shipped. I was getting a little worried. I'm so sorry. You and he used to like go out? <laughs> um, no, no, we really, really didn't. Love only. So I mean, this is this song is being played at a frat. <laughs> you always have a choice with everything you do. Is this okay? Because I could stop if you wanted. It's your choice. Okay, Buffy's moving on. You know, maybe I was wrong. Maybe this will actually be something. Freshman fling or new boyfriend? Buffy, you're in grave danger. Hey, this is Buffy and Willow. We're not in right now, so please leave a message. Call me if I need to talk to you right away. Parker? Everybody needs pants. You're here. I live here. Uh, it seemed like you were going to be out for a while, so I ran out for coffee. Do you have plans today, or...? Actually, uh, my mom's coming to visit. One more thing before I go. A kiss? Well, I was going to go with pants, but, uh... <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> and on the other so, side. Uh, okay. Okay? Yeah? Um, what are you doing? I'm playing tic tac toe with myself. On your back. Gotta get back to work. You love that tunnel more than me. I love syphilis more than you. It's kind of crazy. Good morning. Giles, I didn't know you were here. Oh, really? You know what? I'm an adult, and it's none of your business where I was. Can we discuss the impending disaster? Giles found something. Get a text. Why don't you guys try and locate the crypt? Now I'll see if I can find Spike before he gets there. I'll call Xander and I'll have him meet at your place. It happened, right? Did it happen with Parker? Yeah, it happened. Well, and details. I mean, not details. I. It was nice. It was really nice. You didn't it turn evil. Oh. It's here! <laughs> I knew it was here. Listen to me, you stupid bint. When I have the gem, they all die. Don't worry. But until then, stay inside. I would be insanely happy if from this point on I heard bugger all about sodding friends. I don't know why I let you be so mean to me. I don't know why. I just had the weirdest flashback when I heard that music. And I guess because they're at college now, it has a, wow, that has the craziest nostalgic flashback. I had tears just thinking about it. All of a sudden, the show just reminds me of Totally Spies. If anybody knows about that show, I think it's a Canadian show. It's about a group of girls. I think they're, I don't know if it started in high school. I vaguely remember it now, but I love the show at the time. Uh, but they're like, they're spies and yeah, I guess he is like Giles. They have a butler who's from Whoop. He's kind of like, Giles. I wonder if this was inspired, you know what? It probably are connected somehow or inspired now that I think about it. It was a group of them. It was Clover. Good show, good show. I don't know why I just remember that all of a sudden. All right, Spike has entered the lair. Let's see this jet, baby. Ooh, pretty. Booby trap, you're dead. So, is it doing it? You don't look any different, if you wondered. I thought maybe you'd look taller, or glow or something. What'd you expect? Chateau, the killer. Take me shopping and <laughs> I huh? can't believe you just did that! <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Chill, 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 Hold chill. <laughs> That's broken. Busted ass armor, excuse me? That's my gem. I think I'll go play outside. He just okay, skipping over the fact to try to murder you? In. Everybody, Giles has a TV. He's shallow like us. Well, maybe it doesn't work. <laughs> it's like art. And in breaking local news, oh. area... Public television. Watching television Jason is not going to help us right Park. now. Officials attributed the unusual occurrence to weakening of the topsoil support nearby. I mean, it hit me hard, you know. Since then, I just don't put stuff off anymore. It's about living for now. Parker? No! Okay. No! What's going on? Damn. 
damn, he really just copy and pasted his pitch. I was like, maybe, you know, his mom was in town. I heard sister. I'm like, oh, maybe this is his sister and there's something going on here. I was rooting for you, Parker. I was rooting for you guys. <coughs> Fuck. Yeah, you'd like her a bunch. So, what's up? You didn't call. I, I mean, I'd understand that, you know, if you were busy or... It's only been a couple of days. You need to talk to me about something? So maybe do you want to do something? We could do that, absolutely. Do that. Great. How about tonight? Well, the thing is, I think I'm supposed to get together with some people later. Parker, did I? No, Buffy. Did I do something wrong? No, of course not. Didn't you have fun? Is that all it was? What else was it supposed to be? You liked me. I do. I like a lot but of people. I'm sorry, some kind of commitment? I mean, is that really what you want right now? I'm sorry if you misunderstood something. I really have to go now. Bro, he uno reversal that and then dipped. Crazy. I did this all wrong. No, it's cool. We'll hook up later. Well, that was pathetic. I felt that. Ouch. Can't wait to see if I freckle. Excuse me. Oh, do it again. It tickles, you know, in a good way. Wait a second. If this gem was 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 not too far off. Well, no, I was gonna think of the mayor, and I'm like, he was invincible. That was pretty, you know, good for him, right? Nah, but I, he was really like adamant on becoming this dragon. Although I don't understand why. It's like, what? what like, doesn't seem like a really great trade-off, in my opinion, but. Harmony? Being a vampire sucks. Sandra, I was looking for you. Weren't in your musty basement. Have you seen Buffy? <laughs> no, he said I was over you. I mean, I- Anya, I don't have time. Where did Spike go? It's weird seeing him fight in the daylight. Jesus Christ, ouch, 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 ouch! Xander, be careful! Okay. What exactly did it take to pry apart the Slayer's dimpled knees? Did you play the sensitive lad and get you to seduce him? Oh god, he's what really going wrong. for him. Whatever. Guess you're not worth the second go. Come to think of it, seems like someone told me as much. Who was it? Oh yeah, Angel. Anime powers activate! Take it on me this way, we both burn! Really? Let's see. It's small. Really worth getting my ribs bashed in. It's obviously very dangerous and uh, we're destroying it. We don't destroy it. Well, Buffy, any vampire that gets his hands on this is going to be essentially unkillable. Oh. 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 I mean. I gig in LA, I could swing by. Thanks, us. What's going on? What's in LA? She's giving the ring to Angel. We're jumping ship. Buffy, are you sure? He should have it. I mean, I guess he can't just be out in the night so all the time is, on his show, but that takes away the risk. Does this always happen? Sleep with a guy and he goes all evil? Well, maybe you made a mistake, but that's okay. Parker said it's okay to make mistakes. It was sweet. No, it wasn't. He was saying that so you would take a chance and sleep with him. He's manipulative and shallow. And why doesn't he want me? Am I repulsive? Maybe Parker and I could still work it out. Do you, you think that we could still work it out? I think you're missing something about the whole poop head principle. I think I'm gonna go take a walk. You sure? You know that you know that uh, Twitter account where it's like doubt, like I think it's dudes down bad. There should be a Twitter account of just like clips from Buffy where it's just Buffy down bad because she's fucking down a lot. Yeesh. Yo, confirmed. Oh, oh I was gonna say Anya and Buffy, the new ship. And that was my reaction video to Buffy the Vampire Slayer. This one was season four, episode number three here. And we are dealing with sex. We are dealing with relationships. We are dealing with Spike. And I thought for the most part, this was actually a pretty solid follow-up episode and entry for season four so far. Dealing with, yet again, another aspect to college life here, but also bringing back some sort of form to vill a villain of the week. Uh, the Slayer, uh, you know, Slayer responsibilities. There's also some nice tie-ins, I thought, connecting back to, you know, the old life back in it's Sunnydale High here, obviously. Anya coming back here with the whole Xander, her, you know, being in love, her being in this mortal body, therefore she's feeling the feelings of a mortal and, you know, hook up with Xander. So uh, I thought the way that they decided to make this like a three-part sort of relationship story here, Parker and, and Buffy getting together, can get another relationship, Harmony, and Spike, and then looking at another relationship here, Anya and, and Xander, and then three different relationships. 
all dealing with hooking up and they're in three different positions here. And I think for an episode that's dealing with, with, with sex with a lot of our main characters and side characters, I think they did a, a pretty good job at it, honestly. I think Buffy, you know, sort of falling head over heels for the first guy after Angel. Um, I think that kind of, I think, I think the way they went about that kind of made sense. Just new for her, you know, you sort of just, you take, you take more chances, I guess, right, right out of high school, right? So, and then from right after that to rebounding to be like, oh, I guess it, I guess the rational thought is, oh, look, we can make, uh, you know, we can, we can help a vampire. What vampire do we help? And they were sort of hesitant on Angel. So I kind of, I kind of like how they went right. They made that connection where it's like, oh, great. Right after this shitty guy. The last guy that I was with, we can we can save him and maybe he can come back into my life because every other guy kind of sucks, right? I thought that was an interesting idea. Also, Anya trying to get rid of Xander by thinking that you could just have sex with him and then she'll forget about him, which obviously wasn't the case. So Spike and Harmony's relationship, I felt bad for her. You know, they were defending the earth. They were trying to save the world. And in, in, in so, obviously with our main characters, um, Everything was fine for the most part, right? They Buffy got her, her graduate, her certificate, the school burned down, whatever. But for a lot of those other students, Larry died, for example, and someone who survived, which was a surprise to see her was Harmony. And now she's sort of just, as a result of being a vampire, there's not much real for her to do and doesn't have the most resources. Unfortunately, now she got with Spike and she's, she was in like that terrible relationship. Here. So I liked how they, they showed that here, obviously bringing back Spike in the fold. Not the biggest sort of reveal or, you know, but the, I don't think there is a point. There, there's he's not really at a point right now where, with his character, for him to sort of have this big monumental comeback or anything like that. They sort of broke his character down. It makes sense the way they did it. I, f I feel. Shout out to SMG here. I thought she did a great job with her performance this episode, just encapsulating those conflicted feelings, giving it a shot with this new guy, and it obviously not really panning out. I think Parker did a good job at you know the way they wrote that of him sort of like manipulating her. I, 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 it was very believable and very accurate how he went about that whole engagement with Buffy here. Um, and I mean, to be fair, I mean, like, she, they didn't, she had, she, she, Buffy hasn't really got with a lot of guys either. And she, like, this is like, I think the, the second dude she's hooked up with in the show. So I'm not here to talk about how it's supposed to go or this is something he's done. He has like a, a game plan. He probably goes to the same pub, the same type of girls, says the same, you know, copy and paste text and goes through the formula. But he hasn't really gotten with, I think, many people here. So I think once it was the first person popped up, the first opportunity, uh, you know, she was going full on with it here. You know, she she it's 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 a it's a learning process. And again, Willa let her know the guy's not the greatest, and you beat a poopy head and you move on. So something about this episode again is coming back to the form a little bit. This felt like a proper episode of Buffy to me. Uh, we had some action, we had some nice character beats, we had some fun little moments here, interacting with like. You know, Giles having a TV, some awkward back and forth. I like Willow rooting for, for Buffy as she, you know, after coming home. A nice college episode, a learning moment for Buffy. What did you think about Buffy the Vampire Slayer season four, episode number three? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Also, how do you feel about Spike coming back into the mix? Anyway, with that being said, guys, that was Buffy the Vampire Slayer 4X3. Love you, love you. I will see you in the next one. Peace.